Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the Director and Founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues. Please subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to talk about certain things that might be done to prepare for a probate proceeding. Now, you have to understand that in order to begin the probate process, you have to file a petition before the court. What used to be called a petition to commence proceedings. Um, there are all different uh, jurisdictions throughout the country that have different names for that kind of, uh, of form, but the bottom line is you're submitting something to tell the court that you need assistance within the guidelines of what the probate court does. One of the things that the probate court does it is determines heirs at law. And in order to determine who's an actual heir, you've got to tell everybody uh, that there's a probate proceeding. You have to tell the court who all the players are, and you've got to make sure you include everybody. That's easy if you've got, you know, two adult kids and one remaining parent who passes away. But if you've got, you know, 11 kids in the family, some are adults, some are not, some are half-brothers, whole brother, whatever, you've got to name those people. The most important thing you can do as you prepare to start probate proceedings, when you go to your lawyer, make sure you have a typewritten, preferably, list of all the heirs, all the, you know, uh, children, uh, uh, the spouse, of course, the name, full legal name, and address where those people can be contacted. I cannot tell you how many times we have had the client write out the names, give us all the information, and then we file something, and all of a sudden, someone's missing. And when that happens, you know, you, you look at your master list. And if, if the person who's missing is not on the master list, then your client omitted someone. Now you can imagine with a lot of heirs, a lot of siblings, it might be challenging to get everybody. Well, it's particularly challenging for your lawyer, who's not a member of the family, to know all those people. So it's very, very important that you bring a verified list of heirs at law along with uh, legal names and addresses so proceedings can be begun and without any undue delay. If you have any questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.